In this video I'm gonna enable this card product manipulation thingy here. So these links point to slash update slash product slug and some action. So in here I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna say get update product and the URL is gonna be slash update slash some product and I'm gonna get that product slug in a variable so rack params product and I'll get rid of this and I'm also gonna store the session in this cart variable so rack session cart and also the action so action is gonna be rack query and action so now I'm gonna loop through the cart and update the product that should be updated so I'm gonna say for so for i0 i less than cart length and in here I'm gonna say if cart i title is equal to slug and I'm gonna switch action so case add I'm gonna say cart i quantity plus plus and break and copy this two more times format case remove I'm gonna say quantity minus minus and case clear here I'm gonna say cart splice and pass the index and remove one and I also want to check if cart length is zero if it is delete the session so if cart length is zero I'm gonna delete rec session cart and break and default is gonna be console log and update problem and break and I'm also gonna break after this switch as soon as the match is found and after the loop I'm gonna just copy this so format this and this is gonna say success and cart updated and I'm gonna redirect to cart slash checkout so let's see if this works okay so if I add bananas and apples and go to the cart and if I click plus for bananas I have two and now I have three and now I have two apples and now I have one apple and if I clear apples okay and this works too except for this now so if I have one and I click this minus here this should disappear so what I'm gonna do is after I remove one here I'm gonna check for the quantity so I'm gonna say if cart I quantity is if it's less than one I'll say and then I'm gonna do this so let's see now if I go to add bananas and apples and I go to my cart and I remove apples now okay and if I remove bananas the cart is clear basically but I'm still saying this and I don't want to see that so I'm gonna say here in this get if rec session cart 
and rec session cart length is zero in that case I'm gonna delete rec session cart and I'm gonna redirect to cart checkout else have the render so format this and let's see if that makes a difference so if I go to all products again and add bananas and add apples and I clear apples and I clear bananas and now it says your cart is empty so that's fine okay so the card seems to be working fully now and I'm gonna add the clear card functionality in the next video